our own research often comes upon stages where it's difficult to convince other scientists that it's worthwhile investing in and the government uh, agencies to it that it's worthwhile investing in until we take a chance and actually do some seminal experiments. And at that stage, it's really quite difficult to get funding from peer-reviewed processes like NIH funding, etc. And it's a stage where philanthropy and the efforts of individuals and, and that, that are friends of Hopkins and, and otherwise that basically are willing to support research like that. Very high risk, but potentially very high reward science that has enabled us to actually embark on a few major projects that have subsequently gotten NIH and, uh, and Department of Defense funding, etc. Uh, Peer-reviewed funding. And um, a, a specific example is the development of a new technology that we were able to make that allowed us to basically look simultaneously at both genetic alterations and epigenetic alterations at very little additional cost um, that allowed us to comprehensively survey the genomes of prostate cancers to find these alterations. And this work is actually continuing um, in our lab and is ongoing and, and we hope will lead to major new biomarkers as well as therapeutic targets.